everyone. Um, welcome to Art Journaling. This is going to be Lesson 1.1. Today we're going to be using the um, Staedtler watercolor crayons. We'll be using our journal and um, you can or you cannot use a brush. It's your choice. So the very first thing that we're going to do, I want you just to select maybe three colors that are kind of close to one another in the color wheel. So don't go too crazy. So I'm going to select blue, um, light blue and green, and maybe some yellow. So I lied, maybe four colors, but this is just a darker blue. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start with my yellow, and I'm just going to kind of color <clears throat> um, with my yellow. I'm not worried. You're not, you know, trying to color something. You're just coloring. You're just putting color on the page. And I'm going to put my green in kind of on top of it. And then I'm going to put some blue. And then maybe I'll put some more blue. The darker blue. And I'm going to color the, the edges. And still coloring. And let's bring some of this blue. This is the lighter blue. I'll add a little bit here. Now let's add some of this green up in here. And I think that so far is so good. Okay. So, um, the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to blend these with water. Um, I like to use my finger. I know it sounds kind of weird, but think of it as water coloring for, for grown-ups. So just take your finger into the, your water, and then I start with my lightest color, which is the yellow, and just kind of blend that in. And it looks like we've got some yellow up in here and some in here. And the colors are meant to blend together, so don't think, oh no, you know, I shouldn't have um, done that. That's It gives a painterly look to the background. Fun. Look at that. And then the last thing I do is I have this um, ugly rag and um, I like to take it on top of my page while it's still wet and just push down and lift it up and then I like to just um, smear off the rest of the water. Um, your page is going to buckle slightly from the wet. It should flatten back out. Um, what you can do is as you're working you can take a little binder clip and clip the sides to hold it flat. So anyway, this is our first page and um, I cannot wait to see what you guys do. It's going to be awesome. And I'll be back with lesson 1.2. Thanks for watching.